everybody. Welcome everybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. In John chapter 20 and verse 22, Jesus is speaking to the disciples. And in verse 22 it says, And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. There was another time Jesus was out praying for people and he came across a blind guy. And before he prayed for him, he bent down and he took some of the sand and he spat in it and he made it into mud. Right. And then he put it on the guy's eyes. And then he prayed for him and the guy got healed. And then yesterday you were talking about Elisha and the Shumerite woman's son. And how Elijah went into his room and laid on top of yes. him and he said, eye to eye, mouth to mouth, yes. and hand to hand, I think yes. it was something yes. like yes. that. Yes. And the son was raised from the dead. Now here we've, I've just said three peculiar things that have happened. And uh, where people have received miracles into their lives because somebody had faith. And I'm here to tell you today that faith is acting on what you believe. That's right. Faith is acting on what you believe. Jesus knew and believed and acted on it. Mm -hmm. Elisha knew and believed and acted on it. And in Romans chapter 4 it tells us there that Abraham was fully persuaded right. and fully convinced yeah. that what a God had promised he was able to perform. And so because he, he had the faith in that, he was, it says he wasn't shaken in his faith. But he was fully persuaded. And so he believed, he acted on that. And his belief was his faith in action all the time. And it tells us in uh, Mark chapter 23 that we can speak to the mountain. And it will be removed and it will be cast into the sea. Do you see? Faith is acting on what you believe. That's when you're praying and when you, when you want miracles, you pray and ask God to be healed, then stand up. Peter said to the blind man at the temple gate, beautiful, arise and walk. And that's what we need to do. We need to take a step in faith. When Jesus came walking on the water and they thought it was a, 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 a ghost, and Peter said, no, it's the Lord. And, uh, or Jesus said, it's me. And Peter said, if it's you, Lord, let me come to you. And Jesus said, come. And Peter got out of the boat and started to walk on the water. The fact that he, he took his eyes off Jesus and looked at the storm, he began to sink. But had he kept his eyes on Jesus, he would have been acting on what he believed. Faith is acting on what you believe. And if you're a believer... If you're a Christian, your whole life should be acting on what you believe. You should be praying regularly. You should be talking to God all the time. That's right. You should be reading your Bible. And guess what? Some of you are going to argue with me about this. But whether you like it or not, in Hebrews chapter 10, it says you must go to church. If the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 4 that on a Sabbath that. day, every Sabbath day, Jesus went up to the temple, which was his habit. And it then tells us in one of the epistles of Peter, I think it's probably 2 Peter, I'm not too sure, but it says that there's no better example that's been set before us that we should walk in the first steps of Jesus. So if it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for you and good enough for me. And so we act on what we believe. We go to church regularly to get fed, to grow spiritually, to sit under the teaching of the Word. You can come out with all the excuses you want. You can say this business of the body is the church, not the building. You're quite right. But every car has to go into the workshop for maintenance. Absolutely, and so right. do we. It we amazes me how believers cannot go to church. They say they're born again, they talk the talk, but they don't walk the talk. The flesh they is stronger the than their That's belief. It. Their flesh yeah. pulls them down. Yes. And they must... Move the flesh out of the way. Stand up and be strong and go to church. Force Amen. yourself. Amen. Force yourself. But if to you're do a believer, things. you're going to, and you say you got faith, then your faith is is what acting on what you believe. You see, the thing is, if people don't go and gather 
uh, you know, in the body of Christ or together with the body of Christ, they actually can't encourage each other. They, everybody needs encouragement. They everybody do. needs prayer. Yes. Everybody yes. needs to well, hear the word tells of you God. Hebrews chapter 10. You know, verse 25 says, Do not forsake the gathering together of the saints, which some of you are in the habit of doing. Yes, yes. And they, they say, No, but we do gather together from time to time. But it tells you previously to that. The, the reason why you need to gather together. In verse 22 and 23, it tells you there, or 23 and 24, it tells you there that we gather together to build one another up, that's to right, encourage and right, to exhort right. one another. And in another place, it tells us in Romans that God has given us various ministries. Now, if you're not good, belonging to a church, you're not going to experience these that's ministries. Right, he says he's given us gifts. He's given us ministerial gifts. And he's given us the fivefold ministry. What's the fivefold ministry going to do? Walk around the street to try and find you? No, they come to the church. The church started because it was a, a place of gathering. They used to gather in their homes. Mm -hmm. Then he came to building churches, that's right, that's which right. would be a central point in the village or in the town where the people were gathered together. And there the, the fivefold ministry could minister to them. Uh, as well, if you follow your church history, you find that that's the fact. But my message today is not so much about it. That's a part of it. If your your faith is acting on what you believe, therefore, if you're a believer, you will gather together in the church. But what I'm saying is, if your faith is not working for you, then maybe your believer is not right. Maybe you're not believing right. Maybe you need to just check. I have to check every so often. We all have to check. The devil likes to shoot fiery darts of doubt and unbelief into our minds, but we've got to hold up the shield of faith to quench right. them. And we do that by checking things out in the Word of God and getting on our knees, repenting for our doubt and our unbelief, and just standing up full of faith, acting on what we believe. But you know, it's so strange that uh, people will WhatsApp you and SMS you, Pastor, I'll be there Sunday, and then you never ever see them again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let your, church has that. <laughs> let your yes be yes and your no, no be no. Either. But if you promise to be in church, be there. Don't lie yeah. and don't deceive because it's not us that you lie to, it's actually God. Well, Jesus so said. So we want to encourage you, you know to be in church. Said? Jesus said the spirit is willing, That's right. but the flesh is weak. So you've got to overcome your flesh. Rather, your not, rather not promise and rather not lie. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing. Let's take this. I don't think we need to go down that road now. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Praise God. So let's take the elements, the bread that represents the that's body right. of Jesus. I believe this. I believe this. And that's why we do it. We're acting our, on our faith. Our faith is acting on our belief. And I believe that this represents the body of Jesus. That's right. Amen. Because Jesus said it. It's in the Gospels. It's written. And this juice represents his, his blood. That's right. They used wine. Jesus picked up the chalice with wine in it. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. Whenever you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. So let's do this in remembrance of him with hearts of thanksgiving for our healing, for our provision, for our deliverance, and for our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Let's eat together. And then let's drink together. Amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for the people. Father God, we bring every precious person here, Father God, to you mm -hmm. today, Father. Yes, Lord. Father, you know their needs, God, Father God. God. Father, some are walking around looking for jobs. God, 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 some of them are looking for food, Father God. God. Some of them, them are looking for their families, mm. Father God, that have left home years ago. Yes. They're still walking around the yes. streets looking for their yes. families, Father yes. God. Yes. Yes. Father, send them yeah. back home, Father. Bring yes. them back home, Father. Even if it's a lost son, bring them back home, yes. Father In God. Jesus name. Restore them, Father Hallelujah. God. Provide for them, Father Thank God. You. Your word says that by the stripes of Jesus that we're healed and made yes, whole. Amen. Father God, amen. we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for that. Father, Lord. that you love every single one yes, too much to live in the God. way they are, Father praise God. We God. just thank you, Lord God. Amen. That whatever the people have cried out to, Father, it will come to them, Thank Father you, God, Lord, that there's trouble. 
Their struggle is over in the yes. name of Jesus, in Father Jesus God. Name. That you'll bring peace into every home, yes. Father of turmoil. You, that you'll heal every broken hearted person. God. Father God, God, that you will restore marriages, Amen. Father Amen. God. Amen. We just Amen. thank you, Father God. And 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 relationship between, you, between Father and Son and yes, daughter Lord. and mother, Hallelujah. Father God. You, you'll heal the people. You'll heal the Praise families, God. Father God. And Praise bring them God. back to uh, complete um, um, repentance and yes. forgiveness, Father yes. God, in Jesus' yes. mighty name. Yes, I do believe that somebody watching this today, you're so full of resentment. It's towards a family member who, who's possibly hurt you or, or, or do, done something to you and you're finding it hard to forgive them and you're full of resentment. Let me tell you something, that resentment will strangle you. It will keep you in a prison. You will be miserable for the rest of your life. And God doesn't want that. God wants you to be free. God wants you to hand that situation over to Him and to let go of it and for you to walk in freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Till the next time, God bless you. Bye bye. The Lord bless and keep you. Make yes, His face amen. shine upon you. Be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus', Jesus mighty name. name. Amen, amen, amen. 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 We love you guys and we pray daily for you. Even though we might not mention your name, those people who uh, send prayer requests for prayer nap, their names get prayer written in a prayer yes. request book and we pray Prayers daily get sent for, up you. Every day for them. That's right. Yeah, Amen. Jesus so be name. blessed, have peace, Thank and expect Lord. God to bring you Thank a miracle you in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. 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 And go to church on Sunday. There you go. You God have bless it. You. Amen.